Hello, my viewers. It's me, Violetta. I am psychic from Canada. I'm actually from Poland, but living in Canada. And my friend, Lina Rodriguez, is from Australia. Walking upside down. Yes. <laughs> I'm coming here. Monday morning here. <laughs> uh, yes, one day ahead of us. So yes. I was wondering how dates like beginning of the Second War. It was 1st of September. Yes. That was uh, in your country. It was like... The well, next day. Next day, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it's always uh, wondering me how it works, but they should figure out to make this equal time for everyone and it wouldn't yes. be much trouble for us on the, uh, even when people are booking. Yes, it's true. It's true. Yeah, because uh, Australian people are waking up in the middle of the night sometimes. <laughs> okay. So I will ask you a first question. All right. Thank you. And um, this will be related to Ukraine. I know you know everything. You are so smart. <laughs> you know. And. Uh, Lina is a doctor of uh, sociology. Sociology, okay. So we study societies, how societies fit together and pull apart and lots of things. I'm glad I didn't have to study that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trump is withholding military to Ukraine, to military mm. help to Ukraine. Uh, it's 250 million dollars. Mm -hmm. How that will affect the history? How will it? Affect? Only one more month to, to go ahead or stop it? Yes. All right, let's have a look at Ukraine. Ukraine and Trump. All right. Oh, they're not good cards for the Ukraine, I'd have to say. <laughs> All right, so out in the cold. Now, Ukraine is very cold. <laughs> yeah, it's the beginning of the fall and it will be winter soon. Very soon. But we've got to be careful because it could be Trump being out in the cold on this issue maybe maybe right. that the government the, the senate and congress will stop him kind of yes possibly so we have to look at the rest but why i don't think it's good news <laughs> mm. we have the tower the queen of swords so truth and justice being compromised you know, through, um, this is the way Trump works, isn't it? So even with everyone else trying to move in one direction, he goes the other way. So the casualty is truth, you know. And then, and I think this is Trump, gets the fool card. Um, as you know, as a, a reader, the fool can also be a very sophisticated card. You know, it doesn't always it mean... It can be the beginning of something new and uh, adventurous. Absolutely. You know, it's important as a card. But combined, I'd have to say, this is a foolish act that is not going to end well for Ukraine in the short term. There's so much going on, you know. So that's what I see there. Thank you. Now, can I ask you a question, please? Yes, please. Now, we're seeing protests in Russia and Putin has stopped 57 candidates, opposition candidates, being able to compete in the election. So, to you, Violetta, what do you see with the protests and moving forward? It's like the power 
symbol of power. Okay, I think the symbol of power will be taken away from him eventually. Mm -hmm. He's holding to it, but eventually it will be devastating. It's different. There are different people now. The communication between people because of the tele oh my gosh, sorry, telephones are available everywhere. Yeah. So people are so able to communicate with each other. I was, I'm sorry. I will right. this. I'm turning off. I hope I'm doing this <laughs> wrong enough. It is that it's much easier to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. It's much yes. easier to, to call the protest when it's happened. You know, it, it, people need only few 15 minutes to, to gather. Yes, yes. And when, the state can't get there in time to stop it, you know. Yes, when we had the martial law in December um, 13, uh, 18, uh, um, uh, 1981. Yeah. They disconnect our telephones. We ah. could communicate with each other. They mm -hmm. arrested the elite of the solidarity. We mm -hmm. couldn't. And they took all the properties of solidarity, so the printing machines. Yes. Few survive. Yeah. But I can tell you, when we were baptizing Leszek, we were going to the church, and church was the opposition to the government. Uh -huh. But they openly couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. In front of the church, we are going to baptize him. He is on the little, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's not a crib, but it's the pillow. And there is someone in front of the church handling me letter message mm. for mm. gathering <laughs> how amazing and i didn't knew i'm looking around oh i'm stuffing this inside under the, the baby you know, that he is baptized on <laughs> for something like this to own that uh, we yes. could be in trouble so i said to my husband i'm taking that Stuff mm. it under the, the baby's <laughs> so, so baptized on top of the letter, illegal letter. That's fantastic. So Lashik, baby Lashik was part of the resistance. Already. Oh. Now I'm knowingly. <laughs> and I was uh, uh, excited that I can come home and read it to the whole family because we had a <laughs> gathering and <laughs> I knew I can trust everyone. But it was like they were using every message, uh, possible yeah, research to, to share the message. Now, there is a few clicks and everyone can send the thousands of messages uh, on Messenger or Twitter or whatever. Yes, and I think the same in Hong Kong. Yes, yes. it's very it's quick. One click and everyone knows what's going on. The pictures can be shared. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Putin is in the worst situation because of that. Yes, yes. And the power, the, the symbol of power, it will be taken away from him. How interesting. He'll hate it, of course. Yes. <laughs> of course, but you know, they, they probably monitor everyone. I'm doing the readings. Uh, and I have people for, you know, for private readings from uh -huh. all over the world. I don't have, I had only one from China and one from Russia. Yes. So you see, they are controlled. They don't have our uh, ability to connect with us. Yes. But what? young people will get around. But anything. they can speak with each other in Russian and they can connect. Yes. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Uh -huh. So I have another question. Is Nikki Haley planning to run for presidency now or in the future? That's interesting. Oh, well, I will say, first of all, oh, you I've answered that on her before. And um, 
my words would be watch out for Nikki Haley. So let's have a look what the cards say now. <laughs> okay, Nikki Haley. Because that was months ago, you know. Ah, okay. Nikki Haley. I heard somewhere that Nikki Haley and Mike Pence are kind of mm. In color, maybe we colluded together. So who knows if that's true, but it is a nice option to look at. Yes, let's see with Nikki Haley. Oh, Lordy. You know, I was shuffling the whole time we were talking. And you yeah. got power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing. And the Queen of Swords again, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? Some cards sometimes they love to come to the surface, and I'm showing, I'm chasing them and shuffling, and they, they sometimes are coming. I know. What's that Russian deck I use? I'm sure you've seen it somewhere. Yeah, the 12 I have seen it sometimes you are using. It's a beautiful deck. It's extraordinary. But I get the same six or ten cards. There's 80 cards in that deck. I don't get the same. <laughs> All right, let's push on with Nikki Haley. <laughs> um, the Justice card here, I think in this little mini reading, this is the legal, um, the legal advisors to the whole GOP. I think they're making inquiries legally how they could step forward with Nikki Haley, right? I, that's my sense of it. She would be a great candidate. She's woman, she is not white. That's She's the problem. Smart. That's the problem, Violetta. She's a really good candidate for them. <laughs> that's what makes me so worried. <laughs> you know? yeah. It would be genius for them to do it. So I'm pleased to see the tower. But wait, there's more. <laughs> the devil card. So, with the devil, and, and I'm sure like me, you don't think of it as a literal devil living beneath our feet, you know. <laughs> but you've got the tower and the devil. So, it's like it would be actually quite destructive Mm -hmm. for the country if they do it because she could win and then the right wing have won. So I see this as a card of warning. They might try to put her up either now or 2024, but let's hope. <laughs> and I can tell you um, that part of the devil card, Yes, you can show it to, the, to us. Yes. It has the chain connecting partners the love yeah which could be pence as you were saying or trump her or connection trump. with trump because she was in his uh, in white house so that yeah. went down for her eventually that makes perfect sense that really My does make sense. Is, uh, with trump and she was with trump so that might be downfall for both of them Yes, and people might just see her as too close to him yes. to try. Yes. Well, now it's your turn. I'm dying. Oh, <laughs> it's so exciting to be here with you. I'm happy. I hope the good questions you will get. <laughs> I hope so too. Now, because we don't know what questions we didn't even uh, touch the, the subjects that we are going to ask each other. No, that's right, viewers. We don't know what the next question is going to be. So, um, the US dollar, right? So, if you think since the Second World War, it's been the main currency of the world. Everything is attached to the US dollar. But now that's starting to erode a bit, right? Because um, with the sanctions on Iran, people want to buy Iranian oil. They're not doing it in dollars anymore. There's all this pressure on the dollar. So my question to you is, 
do you see the US dollar actually no longer being the main global currency in the future? I see an Eskimo with, you know, wondering what to do. So it will be cold, it will be a lot of drama. I remember my grandfather, he inherited some money from USA and he was telling me, you know, dollar, and I was a kid, yeah. dollar has value of the gold that yeah. is in it, you know. So for yeah. each dollar, you own a little piece of gold. <laughs> it's by, that was his, so he said, I love to have dollars because they are worth something. No mm. one can say that anymore. Mm. Yes. So, and I see the Eskimo is symbol of cold mm. because he yeah. has that big hoodie with furs and he is holding his head like drama, drama, drama. So I think it will, China can freeze the dollar the moment that they want because uh, Americans were borrowing so much money so that they are, the dollar is not worth it what it was worth a long time ago. That's true. And so, they can the cash that the Americans so fast. Mm, mm. So we will probably see that then, the, the serious decline of the American dollar. Probably, yes. Okay, mm. now it's my turn. Yeah. One of my uh, viewers uh, wrote a comment yesterday. Oh, last night, actually, I was reading. I oh, know today morning we posted. Okay. And his name is Eric Pratt. Mm -hmm. pra uh, Eric is wondering if Madeleine, that the girl who was forced to leave the White House yesterday, oh, yes. two days ago, the, the wonderful secretary. Mm -hmm. Is the New York new? Oh, if Ma, uh, Ma, uh, Madeleine is the New York Times op ed writer, is she mm -hmm. the one, the woman who will take down Trump? Oh, we're always. I seeing know you did few about that. <laughs> We are always looking for that one woman. <laughs> the mystery I woman. Said, I think the whole bunch of women will pull I, I agree. I think it's women collectively. Yeah. But let's look at Madeline. And is, is she in a position? Bring down Trump. Madeline. Um, look, she worked very hard for him. So working for Trump could not be easy, you know, even if you believed in him, you know. Yeah. So she gets the card of the hard worker. But I've always also called this card the card of the mercenary, the hired soldier, like people who work for Trump have no moral core. You couldn't think for one minute um, that he had any moral basis. So she's done it for the money all this time, but she's worked hard, okay? The strategy, the plan, the deal, I think she's, I think she's annoyed enough she will try and sell her story. <laughs> I said that today morning. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. I think she will. I think things will move quickly for a while, like boom, boom, it'll look like she'll get deals and things, and she mm -hmm. even might. But in terms of the question, no. Um, a broken Another heart one. is not going to bring him down. You know, but she'll I make some money, probably like Scarab. Like Pelosi will have to play that role. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it I'm must be. I'm talking about okay. this. Mm. Can I ask you next question? Oh, yes. <laughs> what is Pelosi planning for Trump related to his impeachment? Right, Nancy. That's now enough people for sure mm. to go for impeachment. But it's wondering, I'm just wondering when and what are her plans? I, yes. It's a good question because we'd all like to know. And Nancy, what is she waiting for? Oh, here we go. Um, yes, exactly. All right, for Nancy, what I'm hearing, Claire, audio is not yet, but closer. That's okay. what I heard. Not yet, but closer. All right. So still compromise to be done. You know, I, I, I think this would be other Democrats who are itching to go forward. And she's just trying to hold back the tide. She's making the evaluation. Oh, that's money. Enough to put him in jail, as she famously said. I don't want him impeached. I want him in jail. <laughs> so she's got a higher standard than the the others. So she's still evaluating actively now. Queen of Cups, I think, is her here. I see her more sword-like. Yeah. But <laughs> but in this context. I don't know about for you, but the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups for me can be the parents, the mother and the father. Mm -hmm. So it's like this is a softer Pelosi in the sense she thinks this is so important that she thinks she's the mother of the nation now to get this right. I hadn't thought of her in those terms, but this is what is here basically to get Trump in the end, the smug merchant. So the last card was the King of Wands, who is kind of withdrawn and kind of cautious. If you put those together, she wants to save the country. And that's why she's still sitting on information. She has much more than we know. And I think she has the lead, only one card from the Cubs that has the lead. So the when only she one. To put the lead on him, I think that will be the end of his freedom. Yes, yes, I agree with that. So long. <laughs> Just All right. Saying. Now I've got another question for you. Wonderful. Um, and you might have talked about this in your videos, but I'd like to know about the Canadian election. It's close now. I'm not touching Canadians. Okay, well, that's fair I enough. I have to tell you, I said that long time ago. Okay. Because right. we had a store and we had people who were very verbal, verbal to me when I, even when I had a, a channel, uh, and the Americans when when they were coming. No, oh, goodness me. So All right. uh, you I've know there is not that many Americans I feel good, but there is <laughs> a lot of Canadians and I don't want to I said I'm not trying to, to be nasty, but uh, when you are in the pub uh, in a place that they can attack you. I don't yeah. want to be attacked. So that's fair enough. So we'll move to my next question, which is um, with Boris Johnson, right, in the UK, last time we spoke, I think we talked a little bit about Brexit, but I'd like to know, does Putin actually have compromat on Boris Johnson? Wow, what a question. <laughs> Footprint, um, fingerprint on something. Oh. The fingerprint when you are printing the people who are criminals. Yes. The finger. So definitely he must have something on him. Ah. 
because that is very clear. At yeah. the same time, he has the finger on him. You do yeah. what I'm telling you. The same is with Trump. Can I yes. ask one more question? Yes, please. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, you may answer that already. Lawrence O'Donnell, O'Donnell, he is anchor and MNSBC. He's yeah. right away after uh, Rachel Maddow. Yes. That uh, yes. wonderful guy. Yes. yes. In the uh, Congress before. Mm -hmm. And he informed us that Deutsche Bank, and he was saying it's not checked, but he was pretty excited that moment that it's a new news and he thought everyone else will have some scope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he yeah. was left with the hand in the potty because no one else had that information. Mm -hmm. But he said the Deutsche Bank was um, co uh, that they have a signature of co-signer for Trump mm -hmm. about, uh, and it was Russian oligarch. Mm -hmm. because it, it's logical yes. no bank was helping him yes. he was that much in depth in Deutsche Bank and he was still suing them and Deutsche Bank was working with Russia uh, money laundry and so on but now uh, Trump is going to sue Lawrence O'Donnell mm for that information and uh, Lawrence pulled out himself of that statement mm. and it looks very logical so what do you think about that? I think All I right. viewers will be interested in it and Lauren. whatever we see as a psychic it's not uh, something that we can be charged about so <laughs> no, that's 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 to be a psychic we can dress <laughs> yes we've got a bit of information freedom. from other side <laughs> yeah, let's look. Lawrence O'Donnell and Deutsche Bank information. All right. I I think these cards are speaking of Deutsche Bank itself rather than Lawrence O'Donnell, right? It's just how it came out. <clears throat> but the first card is for him. He had to move to safer waters legally. He had to do what he had to do. Sorry, guys, I didn't cooperate. It, you know, he, he was protecting himself by moving in that position. And he did already. Yes. And now the next three, I think, are Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank is out in the cold <laughs> okay. with all the other banking institutions as well. It's got big problems over and above Trump, major problems, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles. Could this be Angela Merkel or could this be Rebecca Mercer? Um, if there's... I'm not sure of the energy of this card <clears throat> with Deutsche Bank, but a third possibility, and I'm, I'm hearing, <clears throat> excuse me, a thin thread. I'm not sorry. It's a very thin thread. So this could be also a woman who is a whistleblower in Deutsche Bank, because we know Deutsche Bank, when Trump and Kushner went there, you know, mm -hmm. symbolically went there, the bank, like all banks, works in hierarchies and they have people looking for suspicious yeah. transactions. Yeah. And their whistleblowers kept saying, this is a problem, this is a problem, and they kept getting pushed aside. I think this is a female whistleblower. Wonderful, yes. And maybe yeah. someone like that gave the Lawrence O'Donnell information. He thought it's for sure, but that person is afraid about her own life or his own life. I think so. I think so, seriously. And then, of course, the three of wands dealings over the water, you know, America, Russia, Germany. Yeah. 
It's all the three of them. I think it's America, Russia, and Germany. Yeah. But three different banks in Cyprus, in uh, offshore, ah. and the Deutsche Bank. Who knows? That might be as well. The, the Seychelles. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, oh, we can talk and talk. I love to do because you know what <laughs> we're talking about. <laughs> That's great. So, have we finished? Do you think our actual questions? Or? I think so because we don't want yep. to kill people with uh, too long. Yes. The video, if it's too long, then it's uh, very hard for people to watch. I agree. Well, it's been a total pleasure and delight. So, thank you so much for inviting me on, Violetta. Thank you so much. I'm so glad and. It's, I'm looking forward for each session with you or with Dave or uh, with Linda so far. I don't know if I will <laughs> try it to do more, but I, I, you know, I'm so happy to, to be in your uh, club. Okay. I, I think we are very blessed with our community. You know? We are very happy that we are not envy each other. Yes, exactly. It's because so important. That, that's a different energy that we are touching yes Bring and I hope people people can see that because we wouldn't be able to to make it <laughs> otherwise <laughs> thank you so much everyone for watching us and see you next time I hope after the video yes. we'll have to discuss when <laughs> yes we will Thank you very much, Rita. Thank you so much, Lina. I would like to invite you to the private reading with me. Please visit www.psychingvioletta.com. Click Book Online. Choose the type of reading. Choose the length. Choose the date and the time. Fill out your informations. Click the Pay Now button with your credit card or debit card. And you're all done.